Hello there, in this video I've got my hands on KFC crisps and I'm going to taste them. So I was extremely intrigued when I saw these advertised on the television because I love KFC. I used to do live streams years ago on this channel where I would eat KFC live. A little bit demeaning now I think about it. Every now and again I have a KFC and I think yes this is chicken and chips at its finest. So the opportunity came to have KFC flavoured crisps and I was desperate to try them to see what they were like. I did actually make a KFC recipe video a few years ago which has been quite successful. I found a leaked recipe by one of the relatives of Colonel Sanders, this bloke, who now I think about it looks like a sort of older version of me. Um, the secret recipe, I followed it, I made it, you'd have to watch that video to find out if it was uh, any good. If you can't be bothered to watch it, it, it wasn't that good. It was okay as a sort of fried chicken recipe but it wasn't very KFC-ish but I thought well working with Walkers a decent or Lay's if you're American a decent crisp brand or potato chip again if you're American I'm a bit sick of translating everything so it'll be interesting to see what this is like now the first thing I wanted to do actually was look on the back because you get a list of ingredients I thought well maybe they've messed up maybe they'll have printed the 11 herbs and spices on the back of the crisps and we're sorted we can make our own KFC so let's have a look at the ingredients Kentucky Fried Chicken flavor ridged potato crisps ingredients potatoes unsurprising really vegetable oils sunflower rapeseed in varying proportions Kentucky Fried Chicken seasoning containing sugar flavorings salt spices hydrolyzed soya protein, whey powder, potassium chloride, skimmed milk powder, garlic powder, onion powder, acidity regulators, colors. Herbs. So they're not giving anything away. Now these Walker's crisps are max, which means that they're meant to have max flavor. They're meant to be really intense. It means they're ridged. And they actually do these crisps in two different flavors. They do this one, which is the original recipe KFC and one that looks very similar in fact confusingly similar called Zinger crisps and they seem to be in a bigger bag uh, and they as the name suggests are more like the Zinger recipe that KFC has which is a spicier recipe normal KFC is where I'm at so let's open these let's try them and see what they're like So the first impression actually, let me just show you inside the bag, as always with a packet of crisps, it's about a third full. The smell is actually just of potato, which is not surprising because crisps are made of potato, but there is really no other overwhelming smell. I am getting some paprika. Let's have a look at one. I'm not gonna eat them all now because it's actually nine in the morning. I've just had breakfast. I like my food, but crisps at nine in the morning not really for me um, so here is one of the crisps if I can show you close up it just looks like a normal crisp with some specks of what looks to me to be pepper so anyway let's have a taste so the initial taste on the tongue is quite bland. There is a, a hot and spicy aftertaste with these, which I was not expecting at all, because KFC, although it contains spices, KFC is not a hot coating. But let's persevere. I'll only have a few. There's a lot of herbs and spices coming through not familiar at all in terms of KFC flavoring. There's a little bit of paprika there, but I think there's quite a lot of pepper in these. And I think that may be what's giving it the heat. The pepperness is the only familiar flavor from KFC because there is a pepperiness in, in KFC, but it's not overwhelming and it doesn't leave your tongue feeling like it's burning. Now I'm not gonna go and say that these are disgusting because actually, I think these are delicious, okay? Uh, a slightly spicy, unusual crisp flavors go. 
I think these are up there. Um, I like the crinkle cutness because I like the texture on the tongue. Oh, I've dropped that one on the floor. In terms of being similar to KFC, I'm afraid these are an epic fail. Now, I guess the Zinger ones are going to be no better, are they? In fact, they're going to be even less like actual KFC. There are so few crisps in here that I might actually end up eating the packet, he said, justifying it to himself. These are quite a novelty, and I suspect that's mainly the reason that Walker's has gone down this route with KFC to kind of entice you into buying something new. But it's a little bit disappointing that, to me, there's absolutely nothing KFC-like about these crisps. So I probably would buy these again, just because I quite like the flavour of them. But they're a tad disappointing. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link to my KFC recipe video down below. Do check that out. Maybe give that recipe a go for yourself. Thank you to my loyal Patreons, who just for a few dollars a month get early access to all of my videos. And thank you to my very generous Patreons, George Foote, Magnanimous Meg, HB and Jim McCaig. Welcome, Jim. That's four... I think they're called something like Mega Super Friends or something. People who donate more than $10 a month to the channel um, and I mention their names at the end of the video. Well, isn't that nice? Do subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for another one. It tastes nothing like KFC.